Hello and welcome to the Set On My Butt channel and I've got a beard butter from Nathan and Sons to review. Yes, a beard butter or as they call it, a face and beard butter. Yeah, I know that's a bit different. From Nathan and Sons Beard Essentials dot com and when I was asked if I would review for them I said yes and they said well what scent would you like to try and I said well either tobacco and vanilla or airport coffee out of your range and I chose between those two and obviously got the airport coffee because I think they're very telling scents um, a coffee scent can be absolutely incredible or it can be a bit like having stale splashed coffee in your beard and be really not very nice I've had both over my reviews not spilt coffee now it is a 50 mil tin it will cost you 11 pound 99 and the scent is now they say it's a dark roasted coffee with a hint of cocoa and i have to say it's not a bad coffee scent at all it's quite nice in fact and boy does it last i've put this on my beard before going to bed they say it's an overnight face and beard butter put it on Woken up in the morning and I'm still getting that scent kicking up. And it's really very nice. It's not, I'm not going to say, you know, it, it's no storm breaker. It's not the best coffee scent I've ever tried. But it is not bad at all. That is a really decent coffee scented beard butter. Now then, it is obviously a fragrance oil. And this sits in a blend of... Vitamin E blended in sunflower oil, food grade cocoa butter, white beeswax pellets, shea butter, grapeseed oil, jojoba oil, and the concentrated fragrance oil. Now then, beard butters. You know where you are with a beard balm. This is what a beard balm is. But when it comes to beard butters, you're now quite sure you can get something that's quite literally like a very soft butter, like a, an edible butter up to something which I, I really like, a whipped butter, like a real whipped thing. And that, that for me is what I like in a beer butter. This here is the first. It is a very, very, very soft. And this is talking, I live in a house where polar bears would complain that it was too cold. And especially today as we're filming, we've got, they call them the bees from the east, don't they? With real field temperatures of like minus double figures. And it's really, really cold. And I'm wondering what this is going to be like in the summer. You know, if we're getting sort of top 20s into the 30 degrees, what is going to happen to this? Because some of the, the firmer beard balms then go very soft in the summer. And so I think that this is really going to struggle in the summer. Maybe that will be to tell. I can't say, but that is what I think may happen. It's a little bit greasy soft for me. As I say, for a beer butter, I liked more of the, the whipped. They're like the sheer butters, aren't they? There's more of that. That is what I look for in a beer butter. But it is personal opinion. Having said that, there's nothing wrong with this. From a point of a beer butter, it's left my beard feeling okay. Not absolutely amazing. I'm not like, oh, wow, well, this is incredible. But it's okay. It's done a good job. And a little bit goes a long way. Why, and as I say, that scent just keeps on giving for a very long time. Now then, 50 mil, 11.99. They are a new brand based in Northern Ireland. And you can tell as you look at the product, it, it says new brand. And that is not a dig at Nathan and Sons at all. I've seen this from a lot of beard care brands. When you're starting out, yeah, finances are tight. You've got to get all this stuff in place, especially that's brand their cosmetic product safety reports are all in place and everything. So it's not cheap to get set up. And so you see things like the the more papery type labels that kind of say this is a new brand. And I think, you know, if Nathan and Sons then get established, start turning a profit, we will then see them polish up that branding and it have a a more professional sort of like wow look to it as i say that's not a dig at them it just says you look at it and you go that's a new brand just by the labeling you can tell i look forward to seeing what this brand's going to do in the future this is you know their first run really they're sort of fairly new i think the butter needs a bit of work that's just my personal opinion but again i appreciate that that would cost a lot of money to then put in all the 
things for cosmetic product safety reports. Again, I've now moved on to using the Beard Balm and I will be reviewing that in a few days. Check them out, Nathan and Son, beardessentials.com. New brand, not a bad introduction. It's a decent butter. The scent's decent, it's a good coffee scent. And it's, I'm gonna say it's nice. It's a nice product. Go and check them out, Nathan and Sons, Beard Essentials. Check out the written review on satonmybutt.co.uk where I list a lot more detail, etc. about it. And I will see you next time. <gasps> Subscribe to the channel. Go on, do it. You know you want to, and I really want you to, because I'm almost nearing the 1,000 subscribers. I will see you next time. Take care.